sour cream and onion chips and a um, this is a um, chicken and broccoli cheddar um, hot pocket. So you, know, you, you take you get you get like a like a pretty nice like butter knife. Do do you even see how long this knife is? It's a pretty short knife. See that's my whole hand right there. It's a pretty short knife. Uh, I suggest using a butter knife like this, but you know be careful with that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really really delicious hot pocket. Now you try and kind of cut in the middle. Like you know if like you really want to like stab somebody, kind of stab them right in the middle. Try and get all the insides, but like you know you know don't like pull any of the insides out because you just need to be able to cut in the middle, just to open it enough you know. But don't like fully break it, or else it's like makes it really hard to eat like a hot pocket. Make like a couple like stab wounds like that, right? See what I'm saying? Like a couple like some, something like something so you can kind of like push it in, you know what I'm saying? But without any of the juices coming out. All right, you see that? It's like it looks like a little pastry now, right? That's kind of what it is. Uh, stab, stab in the lever, <laughs> stab in the lever. Ray tons coming in at the right time, man. It will give the items back as long as this is the first time I've been jacked. Uh, Maybe that's why they never helped me before. I mean, helped me last time is because they, I don't know, because I've gotten my shit jacked before. Why does a knife have antennas like a bug? Because this is a special knife to use against antenna bugs that are really, really big. Um, now, what's up, DJ Freestyler? How can you not have more viewers? Ah, Duruka. Ah, it's because I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Sometimes I, uh, sometimes I think about that. And then I just think about other things like, like cheap Canadian whiskey in a plastic bottle. Uh, what's up, Doughboy? Later on, cooking with Vaughn brownies. <laughs> brownies sound good. Right. So the next two important thing, things. Ingredients that you're gonna need with this cheddar, uh, broccoli, and chicken hot pocket. You're gonna need two things. You're gonna need you're gonna need some Burger King. Can you see that at the top there? Can you see that Burger King? It's Burger King indented Heinz tomato ketchup in a tin foil looking uh, packet. Uh, next, you're gonna need some hot sauce that says "Will you marry me." Uh, this is a special edition that comes from uh, Taco Bell. It's pretty rare. It's kind of hard to get. Hey, what's up, Tor? Uh, so, first thing you want to do, you know, because you want a little spice. You want a little spice in your life. You want to you want to spice it up a little bit. You want to kick it up a notch or it's twelve. So you want to you want to spread that hot sauce. You got to make a little. You see this? You see this? You see this shit? You gotta make it kind of small like that, or else you know the hot sauce will get everywhere. You don't want that, right? Look at that shit. You pour that shit in there perfectly even. You see that shit? Look at that. Boom. Pretty much used most of the hot sauce, and you can save some for later. You see that at the bottom? You still got some. Look, I'll, I'll press it down. Oh, don't want to waste any. Put that shit in the fridge. Uh, next we have the uh, the Burger King Heinz ketchup. Uh, but first, you want to make sure that the hot sauce really gets in there. So you're going to have to uh, carefully use your utensil. Uh, in 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 my my utensil right now is actually a karambit uh, bayonet combo. You see the uh, you see that that's the karambit edge, and I combined it with a bayonet, and then I took two flip knives at the end. It's a new CS:GO skin. You probably haven't heard of it. Um, so now you you, caref you carefully take the antenna bugs, antenna bug. See that you press that down. Look at that. The hot sauce just pours right inside. You know, sometimes you gotta stick it in there a little bit to really make sure it goes in proper. Uh, also, another thing, if you want to cool off your hot pocket and you have one of these sharp edge type things, you can just kind of poke a hole or two or three on the sides. It'll cool down faster. 
Now, what we're going to do next is we want to we wanna add the final ingredient. Um, that's the, the Heinz Burger King ketchup. Burger King doesn't pay me to do this. But when I ask for ketchup, they do give me about 50 packets. All right, now you want to be careful with this because there's a lot of ketchup. There's a lot of ketchup in these things. So This doesn't even look like ketchup, man. Look at how clear this looks. Oh, uh, uh. But like... I don't know if you can kind of see it. It's kind of like clear. It's kind of... Anyway, it tastes good. We don't really know if it's ketchup. But you just pour that right there in the top, right there. All right? Now, you, just like I said, with, you know, the hot sauce, now you got you got a little half a hot sauce, half of Heinz tomato ketchup. Now you got a whole bunch for your chips. Boom. Bing, bang, bosh. Bingo. Whatever the CTs say. And you mix in the ketchup with the hot sauce on the side. You take your sharp instrument that you were using to insert into the hot pocket. Uh, and then you mix that around so that it's half ketchup and half hot sauce. And you never know if it's going to be more um, ketchupy or hot saucy. See, that side was more ketchupy, and this side was more hot saucy. So, uh, there you go, guys. That's like, you know, some professional cooking. I don't really have a garbage can here, so I'm going to use this Cheetos bag as my garbage can. It's another, like, life hack is if you don't, if you don't have a garbage can, you can make one out of varied varied items and you see this look at look at how much stuff you can fit in there three of those things and almost a miller light can see it's that easy bish bash bosh bingo bong whatever i think they would do water down the ketchup